Yo, what's going on, y'all, man? Hope y'all are doing well. In this video, I'm gonna show y'all how to make a signature Wheezy beat. So something that's a little bit more medium or lower in tempo. This beat's gonna be pretty similar to the song That's Facts by Lil Baby and Dirk. And I'm not gonna say too much else. I'm just gonna hop right into the sample. So for the tempo on this beat, I chose 138 beats per minute. I've heard these types of beats range anywhere from like 110 to 140 beats per minute. So starting with my first sound, I got the simple sign lead out of Purity. You can do this with other plugins like 3X Oscillator and pretty much any other like synthesizer type of plugin. And I went in and put this MIDI in the key of D minor and I was only really using four notes, which is the root note of D, the second and third notes in E and F and the fifth note, which is A, made this first measure pattern here and just let it rock for the full eight. Before putting any effects on it, it sounds like this. And then I put a couple effects on it, the first being the Twisted Circles preset out of Portal from the Grain Synthesis Bank, and then just some default halftime. So I took that and rendered it out as an audio clip and dropped it into the playlist. So once I had the audio clip rendered out, I only used the second half of the clip because it took a second for the portal to kick in and I only wanted the part where the portal was already active. And then I pitched it up by 600 cents. So the key of the sample now is in G sharp minor. And so that's gonna be the key for the rest of the MIDI and the rest of the sample. So after putting in the first lead sound, I went to X band and I got this big section brass preset. And I went in and I put this brass MIDI. I'm a effectively only really using a few different chords. So I started by using the G sharp triad and just copying it up an octave and just using the rest of the scale to fill out the chord for F sharp or moving it down by one scale degree. I copied that over and just created the second chord and just used those to flesh out the rest of the brass melody. For effects on that, I put on an EQ to cut out some of the harsh noises and then an RC20 on the Vinyl 1 preset and just some adjustments to it, notably on the wobble, distortion, and space. And then I cloned that same X-Band preset into a new pattern. I just laid out my lower brass patterns. And then once I had the brass laid down, I went to Xenology Pro and I got the string ensemble preset. And for this, I just used the root notes of G sharp, E and F sharp to flesh out the scale. So pretty much like a standard 4PF or Lil Baby type of bass line using the first, sixth and seventh notes of the scale. And once again, just use the scale degrees of the G sharp minor scale and just filled in the rest of the notes. And for effects on that, I put on gross beat on the one third beat gate and a default halftime. After putting down the strings pattern, I opened up Purity again and just got the default piano preset and put in this pretty straightforward top piano pattern. Before effects, it sounds like this. And with all the effects, it sounds like this. For effects, I put on a low cut to cut out some of the key noises, a default halftime once again, and the grain swells preset from Portal and adjusting the dry wet knob. And lastly, I put in my sub bass, which was Growler Moog bass from Omnisphere and just followed the same bass notes from the strings pattern. So after I had all of my stems done, I rendered out each of them as audio clips and put them into a new arrangement where I finished arranging the rest of the loop and I exported it as an audio file. So 
So after I did that, I imported the finished loop into a new project file. And in here, I imported the clip and I set the mode to stretch in the audio settings and I pitched it up by 300 cents. So the drums and the finished beat are in the key of B minor. And I also turned down the tempo to 133 beats per minute. So for my first drum sound, I just grabbed this clap and I put it on the third beat of every measure. After putting down the clap, I grabbed the snare sound and I put in the snare pattern. And Wheezy likes to utilize his snares quite a bit to add balance to his beats. So most notably, I'd say change up the velocities a decent amount and also layer them with the claps if need be. And then also incorporate these types of rolls where you're just using it on the normal line setting or one the one half step snap to grid. Again, just play around with those velocities to really try to get that Wheezy type of bounce. After putting down the snare, I added my hi hat pattern. And with this, I was going more so for just general bounce instead of trying to do too much with the hi hats. And I just used my pencil tool and I just put in notes according to like a bounce that I kind of heard in my head. For the most part, it's just the first two measures. And then when I copied it over, I just made a couple minor adjustments and then copied it over for the full eight measures. And once again, I'm adjusting the velocities quite a bit as I go. And similar to the snares, that's meant to just give it extra bounce. All the rolls I think are using the one half step snap to grid. So all these right here, in here and then i also added these lower notes to add a little bit of variation and i noticed wheezy likes to do that on a lot of his more recent beats most notably beats like 25k jacket after adding the hi-hat i added my open at sound and this primarily just layers with the 808 and other drum sounds. And once again, altering those velocities to add some extra bounce to it. And then next I added a couple perks. The first being this triangle perk. And then next being the Wheezy Vox. And before adding the 808, this, these are just some nice touches to make the beat sound a little more complete. And lastly, the drum sound that y'all probably been waiting for is the 808. So the 808 for this is a pretty short one, pretty similar to songs like Yes Indeed and Hot. And once again, these and all the other drum sounds I found in the Wheezy Shows the Screen kit. So if y'all wanna use similar drum sounds or the same ones, you can go get that there. With this 808 pattern, I wasn't trying to do too much with it. I was trying to keep it fairly simple because we already have a lot with our sample and the rest of the drum sounds. And mixing this 808, I just put a soft clipper on it and I turned it up quite a bit. So what I end up doing is I allowed the 808 to clip. Putting a soft clipper on it kind of gives it more of that like wheezy-esque or like harder trap sound. So that's gonna do it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed it and found it pretty helpful. Leave any thoughts or recommendations in the comments and that's gonna wrap it up for me. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.